Welcome and thank you for joining us for Coffee with Hillary and Les, brought to you by State of Mind Hypnosis and Training Center, located in the heart of the Kawartha Lakes. This is our almost daily community podcast about the mind and how you might change it in the most simple and helpful ways. Every day we sit, staring at the lake and sipping our coffee, having a chat about hypnosis and how to make those meaningful adjustments to our state of mind. Because nothing is more important than your state of mind. So how are you today? I'm good. I'm still waking up. Yeah. Me too. Second cup of coffee. That gets us going. Thank God for coffee. Yep. And so, so I thought we'd talk about a little bit about the business today and sort of just sort of what we're trying to do. And also, um, you've got an event on Saturday. What's that event? That event is Intuitive Self-Hypnosis. What, what's that about? Oh, want me to jump right in? Sure, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Um, so intuitive self-hypnosis is when we get in touch with our own intuition um, in a self-hypnotic state and find where our own intuition lies in the body. Um, for some people, they notice that their intuition comes from their belly some others, their chest, could be anywhere. Um, and we're going to learn uh, the fundamentals of self-hypnosis. Uh, we're going to learn uh, how to develop your intuition, like make it a little bit stronger, listening, how to listen to your intuition without having your ego-type thoughts getting in the way. Are there parts of the body you think actually interfere with intuition? Some facilitate, some interfere? I don't know if we, we can say it on, on this audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I need more coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's interfering. <laughs> gets in the way sometimes. Only Let's when I stub it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> well, you were talking about that your intuition might be located somewhere in your body and you'd find that location and I suppose enhance it. And I guess I think in terms of, you know, negative emotions like fear and, and anger, um, would actively interfere with your calm awareness. Yeah, yes, ab absolutely. So that's why, you know, we're going through some teaching of getting into a state of relaxation, um, letting go of fears and angers, um, how to, if there's something that's kind of poking at you going, you got to, you know, listen to this or think about this fear or think about this anger then how to let that go um and then move through the understanding what you need through your own intuition uh, so what is your body telling you um you know this is much like not exact obviously but much like my talking to your cells uh stuff right so you're you're just going inward and asking yourself, what do I need? What does the body need? Those kinds of things. Well, that leads me to think of the reframe for the day. The reframe came to me early today. The idea of the podcast came to me later. When I say came to me, I really do believe uh, and um, I'm grateful for that I feel inspired from time to time. I get um, sort of clear messages from my higher self, from my more aware self, uh, from my supports. And, and today it was really clear we should talk about this stuff, we should talk about the business. And the reframe I was given is, I am a mind. I am 
a mind. It's a funny thing because we see ourselves as a body <clears throat> and we're, we're really more um, the creator of the body as well as the user of the body. The messages from the body go to the mind. The mind uses the messages to make choices, make decisions, choose certain activities, responses. But the mind is doing all of the directing. And so I like to remember that um, I am a mind. Mm -hmm. If I could even add to that, maybe even taking out the word ah, uh, I am mind. I am mind, I like that. Right, because ah uh, almost suggests that it's individual when it is part of the whole. Does that make sense? Sure, I, I do think there's an individual aspect. Mm -hmm. um, aspects of the mind is sort of the way I like to think of it. Yeah, true. There's the, you know, I am of mind, I am mind, I am a mind. I mean, part of my mind is my ego, and I get to create that. I get to create my own story. I get to create my own self-view. Mm -hmm. That also is how I create my body. You know, I might decide that I require my body to be a certain dimension in some way, whether it's height or weight or, or uh, muscle mass or whatever. I, I have the ability to use my mind to address the issues that I might perceive in my body. Mm -hmm. I use that body to help me access my mind. I use that body um, to hold my mind. Yeah. As a center, as a place, as a temple for my <laughs> yeah. mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I am mind. I am a mind. I am of the mind. Yeah. It's where everything begins. Yes, it absolutely does. So I've been thinking about, you know, what we can do. You know, we, we like to hold these um, training experiences at the office and we love it when people come and they uh, attend and, and uh, benefit from them. But we also, um, I think, are realizing that's... That's our dog. That's the dog. <laughs> and she's happy today. She's happy. I think she knows when we're doing this. She knows when Absolutely. we're trying to record and she says, Oh, what are you guys doing? You're ignoring me. Yeah. So now she's got a squeaky toy. And she loves squeaky toys. Hillary took it away from her. <laughs> and she wants it back. <laughs> anyway, I guess um, I would like to understand... Um, what it is that keeps people away from the office and um, what might be a better way to deliver. I've been thinking more and more that we should be just simply recording these things um, and just putting them out there. So, you know, if you have some thoughts on that, um, do you prefer to come in and be part of a group to have an experience? Do you prefer to do it in the quiet of your own home? Would you be more likely to participate? If we were simply, you know, making it accessible through our website, mm -hmm. you know, I've always had this dream of creating a community. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I, I, in this world, community is global and community can be online and community, um, yeah, it takes a lot of different forms now. Yeah. Community is really whatever you make it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been kind of revamping the website to be more inc inclusive of like podcast material and and uh, videos and um, yeah, there's lots of different stuff on there right now. <laughs> but we're trying to hone into what the community wants, right? Mm -hmm. Or would like to see. We obviously can't please everybody, but we want to kind of get an understanding of where 
our next steps are going. But we can also do both, right? And, yeah. and I'm open to doing both. I'm open to put my efforts <clears throat> anywhere that they're helpful. You know, that's that to me is the goal, just to be helpful, just to be putting stuff out there that's helpful to people in their individual uh, quests, in their individual pursuit of their own happiness, of their own um, fulfillment, of completing their own journey on their own path. Um, what can we do to help you make the most of your mind in that pursuit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So you'll be attending on Saturday. You betcha. I wanna. I want. I want some of this too. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Um, I think we have a couple of people who are coming, mm -hmm. but maybe what we'll make sure we do is record it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And um, I don't know if we'll record it with video or without video. We can decide then. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think we put it? Put it in the front room? The training room? Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, we'll see if we record it and put make that available and see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Any feedback you can give us about that stuff? Yeah, like, you know, how would you, how would you feel best accessing hypnosis? Do you like podcasts? Do you like meditations? Do you like online hypnosis programs? Do you like coming into the office? Uh, do you like meeting over Zoom? <laughs> you know, all these different ways of accessing hypnosis. Um, you know, we have a, a large and, and still growing database of um, hypnosis programs. Some are big, some are small, um, like shorter programs, a few hours, <laughs> you know, um, and some take a week or more. But it's good to know what, what you would like um, and what people out there would, would be interested in. Um, because we're in expansion mode right now, and we're looking to understand what what the people want. <laughs> yeah, I just want more time every day to meditate. Yeah. I guess that's up to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Again... We always love it when you send us email questions or email thoughts at info at somhypnosis.com. That's our uh, email address. And, you know, you can send to both Hillary and I there. And if, there's, if it's a specific question for Hillary or a specific question for me, don't be afraid to just say so. Um, and uh, if it's a thought or a comment on anything you hear from us, whether it's in podcasts or just in our conversations in the community, um, please just uh, send us that feedback. That feedback is essential. So anything you can offer us in terms of insight into what it's like and what your experience is or what your experience was, because many of you are, you know, already existing clients. Yeah. Thank you if you... Uh, if you can do that, we're grateful. Mm -hmm. um, you got anything else for today? Not today. I think today's maybe a little shorter podcast. It's <laughs> okay, as long as it's valuable. Maybe try a little experiment today and see how many times you can remind yourself today that you are a mind that creates your body and your experience, that it is the meaning that you place on an event that creates an emotion inside of you. And that's what you will call your experience. Experience includes emotions and meanings in the event. And the mind is doing that. So, I am a mind and I'm experiencing this world as a mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the dog squeaks. <laughs> she likes to contribute. Yeah. All right. See you next time. We hope you enjoyed today's podcast and that maybe it helped, even a little. If you have any questions, we would love you to send them along in an email to info at psalmhypnosis.com. Thank you for being part of the State of Mind community. For more information about hypnosis and the various online or in-person services we provide, please visit our website, www.psalmhypnosis.com. The link is in the notes below. While you're there, why don't you book a free one-hour journey meeting with Hillary or Les to learn more about what hypnosis is and how you might use it to make your life what you want it to be. Bye for now.